on Chase of Sports Media here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I kind of just wanted to hop on and talk a little bit about NFL, right? You know, let's talk. Let's let's see what's going on with the NFL. This is like right pre-draft, right? Um, I do want to have some uh, draft content coming out soon for you guys, but I kind of wanted to just discuss, you know, what's going on in the NFL right now. Uh, what kind of updates do we have? What is the outlook of some teams, maybe? Um, and, you know, just in general about the NFL. I, I It's, you know, a lot of the MLB and UFC right now is taking up the news, the NBA and... Obviously, it's slow time for the NFL due to the offseason, but it'll pick up soon due to the draft. Right now, I think is one of the biggest things is the Aaron Rodgers uh, dilemma, right? Now, it's it's the deal between the Jets and the Packers hasn't got like done yet, and they, they thought it was set in stone. They had the deal ready. They were just kind of waiting on Rodgers' decision, and then Rodgers comes out and says he was ready since a certain date, and he's waiting on the two teams to get the deal done. And now we're kind of thinking, okay, well, are the Jets just asking for too much? Or, um, oh, I'm sorry, the Packers, are they asking for too much for Aaron Rodgers? Um, and I think that's hard to justify due to Aaron Rodgers being the greatest player in their franchise. Argue, you know, I would say he is. Honestly, I, I would say Aaron Rodgers is the best. But along those lines, right, it, it's just, just confusing me why the deal hasn't gone done yet. Because how many years has Rodgers had left? Like, do you think he plays how many with the Jets? Like, one, and then he's done, two, and he's done. Like, at most, I don't think he's going another five, four years. Um, so I thought this deal would have got done sooner, but in, in recent news, I, I was like scrolling through my Twitter timeline and I saw that apparently there's another team in the running for Aaron Rodgers right now. And again, that team name is undisclosed apparently, but I mean, that's quite interesting to think about that. There's another team that's like in the loop, you know what I mean? Um, and then another quarterback, you got Lamar Jackson, Lamar still going right now. Um, really question mark. The whole thing's a huge question mark. Obviously, we all know that they use the non-exclusive tag. The Ravens use the non-exclusive tag on Lamar Jackson, um, allowing other teams to send him offers and him to like review his market, right? But nothing's really came up. And at first, a lot of teams said they had, they were like out on him on how they weren't going to do it, like go near him, right? And I think this strains from the Deshaun Watson's deal, man, which kind of sucks. It, it it messed up the whole damn quarterback market. Um, but if you look at, go ahead and look at the deal that he had. It was like $250 million guaranteed. And no other team wants to pay a quarterback for that right now. And I think that that was such an anomaly that we're not going to see something similar to that. To where that's so much money guaranteed. And, and you're crippling yourself so much by just having a quote-unquote franchise quarterback. Which I don't think Deshaun Watson is anymore. And now Lamar comes out and he wants his deal to be in the range of Deshaun Watson's deal. And look, I understand where he's coming from comparing himself to other quarterbacks in the market saying, okay, well, this guy, I'm way better than him and he's making, making way more money than me. Yes, but you got to understand that the franchise did not make a good decision with that. And you have to understand the other quarterbacks in the market and understand that other teams may not want to be paying you that much money. And, I mean, it's, and apparently he doesn't have an agent, which whatever, man, you know, I mean, that that's whatever. He doesn't have an agent. That's that's his choice. But I just think that's going to be quite interesting. But I don't think he's going to get what he wants. I, I don't think he's going to get even close to two hundred fifty million guaranteed because that's ridiculous. That that no quarterback should be making that right now, except for like Patrick Mahomes or something. Maybe even Jalen Hurts. And I'm, I'm I'm I am an Eagles fan per se, but whatever. Um, I don't know. That deal kind of the whole Deshaun Watson thing fucked up everything, and it, it's really really stressful. Really really stressful. A little bit on the draft side of things, right? Jalen Carter. Um, it is going through a lot right now, ever since, you know, body cam footage had came out about his, uh, his like reckless driving incident or hit and run or something along those lines. And then at his pro day, and I'm referring to Jalen Carter, um, the, the defensive tackle for the Georgia Bulldogs. And, and I'm, you're looking at his pro day and he's huffing and puffing. He can't even finish drills. He's performing horribly, which is very concerning for a guy who has the talent to go number one overall. So now it's, he, he might slip in the draft, guys. And his agent was only fielding um, visits, top 30 visits, with teams that um, were inside the top 10 because he doesn't think that Jalen Carter is going to go outside the top 10. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know if a team's going to be taking a chance on him. I, I think it, listen, ultimately, I think it's worth to take a chance on Jalen Carter. I think he's a phenomenal talent. I think he'll go good on any defensive line. I think he's a generational talent at the defensive line um, position. But there's a lot of red flags with him right now. And that's bad for a franchise to bring in. And I really, I'm kind of starting to lean towards the Eagles will most might be taking him at 10. Um, I really do think if he slips, I think the I think they take him and they pair um, Jalen Carter and um, and uh, the other defensive tackle from the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, they're gonna pair Jalen Carter um, with uh, Jordan Davis. Sorry, yeah. So they'll pair those two together, which would be just a heavy front. But that that'd be um pretty insane to think about. I mean. 
Could you imagine? <laughs> that's that's incredible, dude. That's that is incredible uh, defense. But you know, you have other you have other teams, and the top dude, the top five in the draft has been insane. Like all the news around it and whatnot. Like who's 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 what who's what's going to take? Are the Panthers going to trade down? Like, like after they got the first pick, are they going to draft Anthony Richardson, Bryce Young? You have all this talent, dude. I think it's really crazy. I I, I don't I don't know. I, I personally want to see Bryce Young go to the Texans and try to turn that franchise around because I think if a guy could, I think he could. I kind of do want to see Anthony Richardson to the Panthers, and I, I think he would. I, I think him going um, with Frank Reich would be really good for him because we've seen what Frank can do with quarterbacks, the young quarterbacks, especially with Carson Wentz. Again, his time in Indianapolis wasn't the greatest, but if you look back to that Super Bowl win um, in 2017 when he took Carson Wentz and turned him to an MVP caliber player, um, and then you also saw how. You know, once um, Nick Foles had the got starting rain, Frank knows how to develop offenses around certain, uh, certain quarterbacks. So that's always big. And it's always something, you know, you you look to have someone as a mentor, as a coach. I think he'd be good for Anthony Richardson because Anthony's a freaking animal, man. He is insane athletically. Um, and he, I mean, he can throw the, he can wing the ball. And, and I know he has sometimes has trouble reading NFL caliber defenses, but if you look at some of his film, like against some cover twos and, and whatnot that they were throwing like, you know, deep high safeties or whatnot, like they, he was, he started to like towards end of the season, like you've seen ups and downs from him, but he, he does have the ability to read defenses. I think he needs a little bit more coaching um, with that, but he does have the ability and that can always get better to read a defense that that's X's and O's in the film room studying with great coaches around him. And I think, um, I think he would do good over there. I, I really do. CJ Straub is another interesting, um, interesting uh, quarterback on the market right now because it's like, what are they doing with CJ Stroud? Where's he going to go? Cause he, he could even be in consideration for the first overall pick due to his great combine and, and uh, pro day. So, you know, the, the draft is going to be insane and you got Will Anderson probably going to go to the Cardinals. Um, oh, man, that top 10 is insane. Uh, I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait for the draft. The draft's always exciting to see these rookies go in and get a shot and uh, and explode off the rip. It's awesome because you've seen the recent years like Jamar Chase and, and Justin Jefferson, these high talented rookies coming in and just dominating. Joe Burrow, I mean, all these guys. It's been it's been phenomenal. Um, I think um, one of the biggest sleepers in the draft is Nolan Ryan. Um, I think he's very good. I think he's very good, and I, I think he's very talented for Georgia, and I think he's going to prove to be a freaking beast, man. I, I really do. I really do. Um. You know, and on the outlook of the uh, in the NFL, who I still think are the best teams right now, and um, this is pre-draft, guys. I'm just giving my ex, you know my explanation. I think this San Francisco 49ers for the NFC are are, are going to be up there, right? I just don't think they're number one. I still think it's the Eagles, uh, due to the quarterback advantage they have in the NFC. But the 49ers got nothing but better this offseason. Um, but the issue is that quarterback position is still a question mark. Brock Purdy going to be out. Uh, they're going to have Trey Lance there. They just signed Sam Darnold. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's out, so that's why I'm a little worried about the 49ers. I don't think they have a good um, choice of quarterback currently right now. That's proven. Um, but I still think the Eagles are the best team in the NFC, and, and I'm I'm really am. I know I'm an Eagles fan, guys. I'm trying to keep on my bias out of it. I just still think we have a very good roster. I think we'll address the linebacker issues. Um, I don't know. I really like the team this year. I think they're I think they're going to be a good team again. And you got a guy like Jalen Hurts, who's a leader. Guys falling around him. Devontae Smith, who had a breakout year last year. You still have the A.J. Brown, Dallas Goddard, Jason Kelsey. Um, I still think they're the best team. And again, the the Chiefs, I can't bet against Mahomes and Reed right now. I, there's, I think that the two teams that are in the Super Bowl are still the two best teams. I think the Bills are close. The Bengals are really, really close. Um, and the AFC is just going to be freaking exciting as shit this year, guys. It's going to be insane. The Broncos should be should be better with Sean Payton. Um, but that's my early, early, right? Um, in the next two weeks, guys, I, I do want to start getting draft content out. Uh, maybe going through some prospects and just um, talking about their highs, lows, and what team I think they're going to go to, like a little bit of a mock draft kind of thing. Um, but I'll definitely yeah, keep you guys in the loop with that. Um, but let me know what your guys think about the NFL right now. Like, tell me, um, tell me some uh, discussions. Uh, link me on Twitter. What you guys think? Any news or anything you guys want to update me on? Just hit me up. Um, comment. Um, you know what your favorite acquisition was in free agency, maybe because that's also interesting. But I try to keep this post free agency because I had some free agency content. Uh, nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.